ladies and gentlemen, for the 838th time it is, the Mason and Friends show featuring that dude called Jew, a.k.a. El Juperino. As well as that lady called Lisa, a.k.a. (laughs) Milady. Hello. As well as myself, a.k.a. Mahoney. Welcome to the Mason and Friends Show. Big up to Big Mike. We're missing you, Big Mike. Where you at, motherfucker? I know you're out there dealing with the chillings. What, like Chef from South Park? Hello there, children's. It's a Sunday and I'm missing the podcast. Hello there. I'm just gonna take y'all out and show y'all some things that you shouldn't know because you're too young. At least that's what Mason would tell me back at the podcast. That's what Big Mike's up to right now. You out there corrupting children and shit. I guarantee it. Probably ain't even his kids. He gonna take this kid somewhere well, and some th- other kids are gonna come up and he's gonna be like, put it in her butt. And they're gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? And he he's gonna be like, be I didn't that. say he nothing. He might be getting, not be getting that physical. <laughs> you but, don't think he's getting that physical? Uh, he, he may be... Uh, I don't know. I think he's out there emulating Uncle Leon Phelps a whole lot more than anybody wants to give him credit for. That's right, Mike. I'm he, talking he about you. He's definitely traumatizing little kids. Somewhere. He traumatizes little, somewhere. somewhere. He may not be uh, uh, in the in uh, sexual kind of hey, uh, yeah, uh, con, con yeah, I'm not saying he's, de- I'm just saying he's definitely not but, doing anything sexual to him, but he might be no, corrupting. But, he, no, but their, I'm saying he not be mentally sexually. Like right. He's corrupting the way that they think about things. May he, not be. He may just be his presence corrupting these kids. You just you think his I mean? presence it, is the it, corruption? It, 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 he's got some corruption in his presence sometimes, the way he comes off, you know what I mean? So he could be that way. He could be not just be like the nasty motherfucker Mike that we all know, but he just could be like, you know, the kid nasty motherfucker, you know what I mean? Which is, it's still, it's not as nasty as so the he's, adult. So he's like nasty light. He's like it's the cool less, guy. It's less, he's like the cool uncle. Less. Yeah. Less degree of nastiness. He's the, the cool I'm not... uncle that teaches you all the dirty words for vagina. <laughs> no, just <laughs> like right. That's but that's what I mean. He's out there. He's out there having a negative impact on some of these children that aren't his. Like they're gonna be somebody's kid is gonna be coming home and he's gonna be like, Mom, um, what is a uh, fupa? I don't know. He called my son nephew on Instagram and made my kids fucking weak. So <laughs> that's different though. He didn't say, "Hey, yo, nephew." Let me explain to you about a fupa and a uh, crockpot pussy. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? My son would get out the popcorn. I'm pretty sure, he, <laughs> you know, I don't know what age limit it is where a lot would discuss <laughs> a crockpot pussy, but... Crockpot pussy? Could you guys explain what that is? Because I, I don't even know what that is. It's the fupa covered c- pussy. If the JJ got a belly over it, like so, you got, got lift up to right. Unveil. So you got thigh contact and fupa on the front side. So you could so, fuck the fold or the vagina. So the crock pot, <laughs> the pussy has been marinating in the crock pot. Oh, gross! Uh-huh. Exactly. Why? That's why. That's why I was saying that I like my why? vajayjay with thigh gap because that's like it's like putting out a like twelve like year old air. It's like keeping the air. You the air fryer. You keep the air moving over. It's it. an air fryer. So it's as fresh as it can be because it's out in the breeze all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because it's got thigh gap. That's what I'm talking about. I like thigh gap all the way up. That's an amazing thing right there. Because you don't end up with the fupa crockpot pussy that Mike's a fan of. What are we going to talk about? (laughs) That's what I said. said, How are we going to fill a whole episode? I don't know, Lisa. We'll figure something out. You know what I'm saying? All I had to do was bring up Mike, and here we are on the crockpot pussy. Like, God damn How'd that happen, Mike? It's like you're here, but you're not. Uh (laughs) But yeah. Jesus. God, women don't have that same thing. We don't talk about y'all's men's bodies completely like they're just different times of dinner, different recipes, (laughs) different methods of cooking. Well, like for me, I look at it. I look at. He got that good, good. (laughs) That's pretty much it. Well, it's like it's like Eddie Murphy said back in the day: if he can make you come, like it doesn't. Nothing really matters other than he can make you come. 
Yeah. Yeah. Bigger, small, fatter, tall, skinny, short, whatever. Like if he can make you come, you're gonna be way more like into putting up with his shit. Mm-hmm. If he can't make you come, what the fuck? You ain't gonna be around. Most of these women, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You know, and that's why I always Maybe. find it really annoying when they're like, oh, you know, I'd be faking it or whatever. Or yeah, I think like most women do. Relationship <laughs> shit. Like, and that's just stupid to me. That's because we like you more than we like what you're serving. <laughs> well, be nicer. <laughs> be nicer to us. It's not that simple. I know it's not. You know, like, I don't know. That's, well, that's what I'm it's saying. Not, it's not I like you guys are sitting bullshit. around denying us orgasms because we're not nice. <laughs> Well, you know, some of us are more motivated. Uh, if only to, she was nicer, I could learn the. Some of us are more motivated. The ocean. Well, that's what I don't get. Like, I would give it to her better if I, she was a little less of a bitch. That's, well, that's not true. That's I don't know. I don't subscribe to that because I don't go in with the fucker wrong mentality. I go in with right. I'm going to try to fuck this girl right. Like I want the last thing that's going to be the concern is the orgasm providing. I want to be. Well, I got that. Like, can I put up with him otherwise? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I don't want it to be some questionable. Like, oh, well, sometimes, whatever, like, you know. Nah, I'm going to knock out a few mm-hmm. if that's why at all possible. That's going to be the goal. And if I can't figure out how to do it in a realistic manner, then I don't fucking want to be with you either. Like, if I can't make you come, I don't want to be around you. Some awesome. girls can't help it. Some girls suck. No, it's no. <laughs> some men suck because they don't yeah, that's learn true their women's too. bodies. Right. But some women literally just can't. Like, there's certain... Can't is the cancer of happen. <laughs> <laughs> Can't is the cancer of happening. You play it twice. Do it. The Nike slogan doesn't say, just try it. Oh, okay. Just try it. No, just do it, man. Just do it, do it man. man. You got to get in there and figure your lady's body out. Amen. It's just the way it is. It's not that It's it's not but that even difficult. even try as you might, you still might not be able to. Well, she might not be able to come in general. That's what I'm saying. And that's a real sad state of affairs. I have at least three affair. friends that have never had orgasm from sex. Who are these women? I want a shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, give me a chance. Put me in, coach. Take a chance, oh, no. baby. One of their husbands one time was like, like had tried for like years and years and years and still continued to fail. And then like as like a gag Valentine's gift, he got her a dildo that was like modeled after his own cock. And I just remember You've thinking. You've spoken to this guy. Yeah, I've talked about it before. Yeah, repeat crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why would you get the dick dildo of the dick of the dick that don't work? Well, like, <laughs> I, that's that's the thing, like. I mean, I'm like, I got what I got. I'm not going to try to like, buy something that's the same, bigger or smaller, and be like, here you go, here's some thing to fuck with. I mean, I'm going to be like... Maybe it vibrates. <laughs> I would buy like something that she could utilize during the interaction with my actual dick. Yeah. Like, here's a little, like, I don't know, one of those vibrating cock rose. rings or the rose things. Five star review. Any, Just saying. Right. Like, here, here. <laughs> Utilize this. I'll be like, yo, I'm going to put this rose on your clit out of nowhere while I'm fucking banging you. Because, like, Done. I <laughs> I come better when the girl comes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, that's another reasoning for it. But it's like, you want to, like, work it in. Like, it's got to be like, you can go for a couple. Women can have multiple <laughs> orgasms. So, you got to try to, like. And, shake it, and you're, like, juggling I'm three saying, different options. You want to like, juggle. You got the rose, the You want to juggle them in and out of the <laughs> orgasm prior to sticking your dick in. You want to give them an orgasm pre-dick Welcome and then post the dick. That's the, that's the goal. A woman can have multiple orgasms. So, that should be your goal as a man is to give her a come before and a come during you know what I'm saying yeah. come pre dick and come if she didn't during. come during then after is okay too sure I think a lot of guys forget that well it's, it's cause they just wanna like like be done go to nap One and done. go to nap mode mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's like uh, so what else are we talking about uh, today so, <laughs> I'm gonna sleep now uh, that's everybody's goal I'm like fuck that I'm gonna make this bitch come and then I'm gonna make her come again and then hopefully I'll come. That's the goal. Ladies, are you listening? That's the goal. He's right here, That's y'all. the goll. Uh, you know, holla at your money. <laughs> just, I'll give it a whirl with your baby one up. You know? Like, I find it interesting because it's like, what do these chicks really want in life? Is it just orgasms or is it communication? Communication. It's co- communication over orgasm? Fuck yes, always. Look at that. So, like... If you could tickle my heart, that's more than in my clit like well and that's the what the you say they put up with you not giving them <laughs> orgasms because women put up with, women put up with men not giving them orgasms, orgasms yeah. because they tickle their heart yeah is that what you're thinking yeah. okay all right uh-huh. yep 
Right on. Like I saw this. I saw this one. Did I tell you guys about this one? No, I already did. I already talked about that too. Damn. I don't know. Talk about it again. What are we talking about? No, that one, that one like TikTok where that dude was like, you know, I love you. And she kept pressuring him and pressuring him. Like, well, why? How do I know? How do I know? And he was like, are you not going to like the fucking answer to this? And she was like, tell me anyways, baby. Yeah, what was the answer? Did she like it? I know I love you because your pussy's trash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have seen that one. It's just so mean. And then to put it on TikTok. But that's literally what you're talking about. I know. That's literally the total opposite to pure. But let's like, yeah. if, if your man pressures you and pressures you and pressures you, why are you be staying <laughs> with me? Why are you be staying with me? Well, it ain't your dick game. That's true. You know what I'm saying? It's you're right. your personality. Yeah. I actually like your personality. And that's the thing. Like, everyone should sort of accept that on like a base level of the person that is consistently hanging out with you. Yeah. Like, I like your personality for the most part. When you've got a good attitude, when you're carrying yourself happily, when you're enjoying yourself and True. you're enjoying my company, like, then we're having a good time. Then, like, of course I want to keep hanging out with you. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you don't, you don't irk the shit out of me all the time. Yeah. You know? And, like, when... That's the thing that I don't think women fully get is that, like, we'll spend some time being, like subversively like hey you know you're irking the shit out of me like could you quit doing this could you quit doing that like you know if someone if a man asks you that ladies like he's saying it took him a long time to build up the confidence to he's, say he's saying look <laughs> like you're doing this thing that's annoying me mm -hmm. and I like you enough to tell you mm -hmm. because at some point if you keep doing that I'm it not gonna keep us. fucking hanging out with you yeah this is why I bring the thing up you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, if your man gets That's around to it. Exactly. That's what women want. But, like, they don't like it, in my experience. Like, I will communicate with a woman. Like, I'm real good at it. Like, I'll tell you what to fucking think. And then you'll be mad at me. Well, yeah, because you're you telling know? them what to think. I'm not telling you what to think. I'm telling you what I think. Oh, what you think. I'll Sorry, tell you what I, I think. Misheard. I'm not going to tell you what to think. I don't want you to... I don't want it... I want you to think for yourself. I want you to have a fucking response to my statement that isn't some pre-canned propaganda bullshit. If I say something to what you're saying, then like say something back that reinforces the, the concept that you that validated you, the, your words. The concept that you understand what you're even saying. Right, like, like I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. Right. Like mm -hmm. like participate. Uh -huh. Be oh, engaged yeah. in the conversation. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. What am I oh my god. Oh yeah. What's okay. going on now? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but this uh -huh. is, you know, this is what people want, I guess. I don't know. It's always the thing I hear about and never the thing I experience. Mm. You know, but whatever. Like I say, I'm bad at finding people to go out with. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to find a balance. The Chick-fil-A girl sings it's, about, it's about it. It's really the funny. The Chick-fil-A girl. It's so the funny. The next time she's like, I like your ride. Be like, well, Come, can I take you out in it sometime? Let me take you out in it sometime. Is this That's, Corvette? Yeah. Yeah, Corvette Chick Fil A girl. Oh, uh, she she's she's uh, on the weight, and if she worked for Chick Fil A, she's a what? She's in weight. She's in weight. Yeah, she's in the weight. And she works she's for Chick Fil A. In the weight range, if she works for Chick Fil A, she is absolutely in the weight range. Fucked <laughs> up. Look, Chick Fil A is always some small happy bitches, man. Right, and that's that's literally happy. I'm just looking for happy. Are you happy? Are you happy? Oh, are you happy more than you're sad? Are you, do you have the potential to be happy mostly? <laughs> and do you think I'm a secret shopper? Have I only been getting this attitude and this attention because I might be a nah, secret shopper? <laughs> nah, I go there too often to be He's a secret like, shopper. like, no, it's real. <laughs> nah, I got a problem. I got a problem. That's just like crack, you know? I got a real problem. But Chick-fil-A is good. I'm trying to tell you. I need to fucking go to the it's grocery store. right now, but, you know. Yeah. I got a hankering. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll go in the next few days. If not two out of the next three. I got a problem. Try to tell you, because so I gotta start going to Wegmans and buying like something reasonable for lunch, mm. like like something lean, some lean protein, some rice, maybe a little salad, mm -hmm. something like that. You know what I mean? Something to eat at lunch that I don't have to go to Chick Fil A every day of the week. I can make these girls at Chick Fil A miss me. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Oh, that's what you like to play hard to get. <laughs> the Chick Fil A nah, bitches. Nah, I, I changed I, my whole diet yeah. to give yeah. this impression. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These bitches. I'm gonna change the way I eat during the week. I'm gonna change Fuck that with shit. these girls. Yeah. Nah, oh, it ain't. You know, it's not really like that. But Mason comes back three weeks from now, 20 pounds lighter. Yep. <laughs> comes back. He's like, yep. I, I, she missed me, y'all. I got a date next I'm week. I'm gonna show up slim. Yep.
<laughs> I'm gonna be like, hey, what's happening? Slim Mason showed up all of a sudden. Ain't bad fucking with Starving the chick fil Starving himself so he could make a girl miss him. I can have a girl over 200 <laughs> pounds in this car when I'm, I'm going yeah. for a buck 50 or less. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, baby, I lost enough weight that I could have a, a plus 200 girl in this car with me. But I don't want that. <laughs> We well, she ain't six seven. I don't want no that. crock pots. No crock pot pussy. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm not a fan. I'm not even necessarily not a fan. This is not what I'm looking for. Like you say, preference. It's not my preference. My preference is thigh gap. Mm -hmm. Thin. Uh -huh. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't think it's What if she had a thigh gap and just had a gut? Like, what if her little legs are like this big? I mean, look at the, the air, thigh gap. If if the the, air oh, it's just about the circulation. The, if the circulation, <laughs> circulation's happening, I could maybe work with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just, just narrowing it down for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just needs a little bit of airflow on that thing. Yeah, I just need the airflow. It's got to okay. stay fresh. You know what I'm saying? I want gotcha. it out in the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Staying fresh. <laughs> Breathing. Gotcha. Breathing. Exactly. Gotcha. With that bad breathing. I want it. I want it like a nice bottle of wine. I want it to have had Aerated. time to breathe. Yeah. Can't you know wear what jeans, saying? man. That denim. No, traps. it's fine. No. Denim, denim, you ain't getting much breathing out look, there. Look, you cover yourself That's up. True. Cover yourself up however you like, per se. Like, it's it's more about, like, you know, that general airflow ability. Like, even with cloth, denim, leather, even. I fuck with a girl with thigh gap that likes to wear leather pants. I don't give a fuck. I'm a wild boy. I used to have a theory that only small dick men liked girls with thigh gap. Uh -huh. Well, whatever. <laughs> I mean, average dick. Not huge dick. Not little tiny dick. How'd you get it? How average you, dick. How do you get your sources because, on that? Because, if, like, it's just because a theory. I just, I know a lot of, I used to work with <laughs> a lot of, like, really big women, right? Like, I don't know. It was just a thing. Like, one day I just walked into work. It, this is my, my old job, corporate America. Well, I look around and I'm like, man, I'm surrounded by a bunch of BBLs, you know? Like, beautiful, wait, no, Brazilian butt lift bitches. Nah, not them. Like, just a bunch of big women. BBWs. Right, right BBWs. Thank you. And, um, and yeah, one of the things that was said to me was, I can't have sex with small dick man because he's got to be able to He's got to get through the fupa. He's got to be able to lift up He's got to be able to get the through the fupa. And get up under there. Uh -huh. And you can't do that with four inches. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Maybe from behind. But <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've worked with some bigger girls and gotten the job done. But, like, you know, it's not, it's not my preference. Yeah. Like it Why is you like the thigh gap. It is a task. Well, like I like a girl I can toss around a little. That too. You know, a whole lot more than like you know one that can like move in an interesting way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cuz like they got to like rock the hips and shit. The bigger mm -hmm. they are, you know what I mean? They got to have like ocean motion. Uh, maybe. You know what I'm saying? The bigger girls got to have the ocean motion. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't, but okay. Well, I mean, I'm sure they have I to do. Use, I'm sure I do. They have to I'm utilize just... their body in a manner that like just doesn't kidding. require the level of acrobaticism that a girl with thigh gap does. You know what I'm saying? The I same know. way a super big girl doesn't necessarily do that great on the dancing pole. You know what mm. I'm saying? Because it's just... Not enough space. Well, that big girls can move on that pole now. Some of them do all right, but like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, some put the effort in. Mm -hmm. It's all about upper body strength, Stri really. A lot of strippers don't, but sure. some, some of them have put that effort in. Well, but that's the point. Everybody, There's always a chance with everybody to have the proper effort put forth, no matter True. how they're built. Sure. You know, we're just going to laws of averages. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, most of your big girls don't want nobody that ain't able to really... Put it down. While the dudes with the bigger dicks need somebody that's big enough to be able to handle to all that. To take it. Exactly. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody gets what they can work with mm -hmm. fairly well. Mm -hmm. And, like, I don't know. I've been there, but I prefer not to be. Mm -hmm. Like, I've dealt with the big ones. Like, you could get it done with them, but, like, there's a lot of them to get it done with, in a sense. There's a lot of them there to be working with. <laughs> like you said, you got to get down through that fupa to get to, like, the clit to be able to rub the clit while they're riding the dick, you know what I'm saying? Or play with the titties while there's enough dick to be able to where it needs to be for them, to then be able to pop that motherfucker out of there when they're fucking coming at you. Thank God. <laughs> uh-huh. What's the problem with that? Nothing. <laughs>
Didn't mean to open this can of worms. Well, you know you open a can of worms. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Lob was here, it'd be a lot worse. It'd be way worse. Probably. Lob got a lot of opinions on big girls and a way to be fucking them and not fucking them. I would you'd be curious to know. <laughs> Let's phone a friend. We'll have to bring this back in the next time you and the Mike are both here at the same okay. time. Okay. Talk about it. Mike, put a pin in that. Mike's going to remember it and bring it up. Because <laughs> Mike listens to the show when he's not here. Yeah, because I already forgot a lot. Yeah, that you don't remember nothing. Because he does the show and does something not about, listen. Uh, uh, fucking big girls, I think, or something. I don't crock even remember. Crockpot versus crock air pot, fryers. Crockpot air fr- Yeah, it was a lot. Well, what's bro. an average woman? I'm not a crockpot. I'm not an air fryer. So what would I be? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that there's like an equivalent I'm in, the, TV in, the, in between. I'm just ready to start. Oh, yeah, TV is that is? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, and that's an acceptable thing too. Pop that bitch in a microwave and let's go. I can fuck with it. You know what Jesus I mean? Fuck. That's an acceptable. That's an acceptable style of lady to be. The in between crockpot pussy air fryer. <laughs> You're somewhere in between. Now, what the terminology easy would bake. be? Yeah, it's just a, she got an easy bake oven. Nah, that's a little bit too. That's a little bit too, perhaps. No, the TV adolescent. Dinner, the TV dinner. You know what I mean? The TV dinner. TV dinner. Damn you it. think it's a TV dinner? That's pretty good. Just peel the plastic off and go. Just poke with a fork. Yeah, poke a couple holes in that bitch with a fork and toss it in the microwave. Wait till it's steaming, and then get it going. Why is that motherfucker steaming? Oh, look at all this hot and ready. Look at all this hot and ready. Hungry man. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) This bitch is like a Tyson's ready for TV dinner and shit. (laughs) Hungry man. She's like a hungry man. She got the steak and potatoes. Everything ready. That shit ain't in the crock pot, but it tastes good. God, I need it on a t-shirt. Team TV dinner. <laughs> TV dinner pussy. No, she we got TV dinner no, pussy. Can't be that obvious. <laughs> TV dinner man. <laughs> <laughs> TV dinner man. Uh, One word. Crock pot pussy, because that shit takes all One day. One word. Nobody would even know. That shit ain't air fryer, because I mean, that shit is too quick. All right on the back. Honestly, we could do. Can what have a crock pot. It's like all three of you guys. Like you're the air fryer. <laughs> You love Mason loves air fryers. <laughs> Mike loves Mike loves crock pot. <laughs> and did you like <laughs> microwave dinner? <laughs> I'm like, I need this shit to not be all greasy. And the Jew's like, man, I'm good with that. <laughs> and Mike's like, man, I need it slathering. <laughs> That's perfect. It's the perfect fucking analogy. Yeah, dude. That's why we all get along. Because we don't get into each other's lanes. <laughs> right? If a big girl, average girl, a skinny girl were to show up, we would all be happy. Fine, yes. I mean, good, yep, good. Yep. I got this one. You got that one. All right, cool. Oh, my God. Hopefully, they would like us back oh, the same Jesus. way that we would want to like them if it was like that. God damn it. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the secret to lo- lifelong friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay out of each other's lanes. <laughs> Find out what kind of dinner they prefer. Everybody can be like, I mean, that's all right. I could work with it, but that's not my preference. Right. Everybody will eat all three. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, dinner, dinner. Exactly. No, no, it's a turn it down a meal. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. You gonna eat, Lizzie. You gonna eat, Lizzie. <laughs> I guess it's dinner time. Oh, Got shit. Eat. And we all would rank choice vote a slightly different way. <laughs> yeah. That's all it is. That's fucking hilarious, How do you man. Pref- what's your preference? Well, I suppose my preference would go like this. Air fryer, TV dinner, crock pot. You know. It's a good analogy. It's a very good analogy. Thank you. That's right. Which way do you lean? Hmm. Slim to thick. As yeah. As Listeners, <laughs> let us know. Are you team air fryer, <laughs> team crock pot, or team TV dinner? There we go. <laughs> Call to action, y'all. What do you prefer? Let us know on Twitter. I need to do a Twitter poll. <laughs> what kind of pussy do you prefer? Crockpot, air fryer, or TV dinner? And if you don't know, check out the most recent episode where we get into it. Definitions. Oh, shit. Yeah, because that fupa pussy is, I mean, it's, it's okay, that's fine. But, like, you know, I'm going to go to town on some air fryer. You know, if I'm dealing with Fupa, I'm like, hey, what would you say we hit the showers? Come on now. Jesus Christ. Stop, Mason. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You missed a good one, Mikey. Yeah. Yeah. Where you been, Mike? Hello there, children. 
Mike's been out there corrupting young. Probably giving out cards. I gave him a card box the other day. Probably handing out some cards. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Shout out to any new listeners. Yeah, yeah. we ain't gonna be. <clears throat> we ain't gonna be here. Jay'll be here, I think, but. He don't do the show very much. Ain't none of us gonna be here. So whatever time y'all gonna do. Well, fuck. We might do it in my house, huh? Or Just whatever. Be like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm leaving Friday night. I'm going back Tuesday, so. Yeah, yeah, we can work it out. Probably just do it in my crib Saturday or Sunday next week. See what Mike wants to do. See what day works best. Uh huh. So, uh, yeah, you know what the deal is, Mike. <laughs> That's what's up. We be making plans on the show and shit. This is a Thursday show, so it's right about the right kind of time. That's what it do. And what it is to talk about. All kinds of stupid shit. So by now, RFKJ should have picked his vice president nominee, and hopefully it's somebody worth picking. That's all. Hopefully it's Mason. Nah, it ain't going to be me. <laughs> but I would be a goddamn good vice presidential nominee. Bobby, if you need it, I'm with you. Let's go. I'm down, man. <coughs> Damn it, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. That would be fun to be running for president with Bobby Kennedy and saying, Damn it, Bobby, to him. Like, <laughs> that would be fun. Damn it, Bobby. I would, I mean, that would get a couple people. Yeah, dude. <laughs> people be like, these guys are having fun. Like, these motherfuckers are clowns. This is some fun down. shit right here. Yeah, man. We need fun politicians instead of these douchebag old people falling down the stairs and shit. You know what I mean? Oh, you good. I hear you over there making a racket. It's all good. <laughs> shit happens. Turn that shit down, girl. We got a show going on here, man. What the hell? Excuse what, did you find Jake Drillenhall on there yeah, or something? No, there Drillen was no Hall Jake Drillenhall. Oh, you couldn't find him? Yeah, God I'm going to trademark it right now, actually. That's, That's what a goddamn I was doing. good porn name. Trademarking it. It's a goddamn good porn name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the name's Jake Drillenhall. Well, they say your porn name is like the color of the shirt you're wearing and the street name you lived on as a kid. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't like those. So what, what would you be? I don't even know. I can't think of any street names I lived on as a kid. What was your What was your street that you lived on? Jew. Mar. Mar. Yeah. You'd be Black Mar. I guess. Black Mar. I don't know. Could be. I'd be some. I'd be Baby Blue Kimberly. <laughs> I grew up on Kimberly Court. Baby Blue Kimberly sounds like a reasonable porn. You'd name. be Whitey something. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't even know. I can't think of any street names I lived on. You can't? What no. do you live on now? Uh, Maybe he doesn't want the masses to know. Yeah, I try not to put that too far <laughs> out there. You know what I mean? I guess there was a time I was on Mets Road. There was a time... Whitey Mets up in the house. Well, like, I came up with... Uh, uh, My mom lived on Mets Road. I, you know what I came up with? <laughs> Milky Holmes at work oh, the other day. Oh, that's disgusting that's sounding. That's a good name. That's a good name. Milky Holmes. Milky it's a porn name or private investigator or porn Milky, name. Yeah. Could be either one. Milky Holmes in the house. Yeah. I did see Fletch the other day. Fletch. Hey, now. With uh, Chevy Chase. Yeah, Cat and Cough a lot over here. God yeah, damn. Yeah, that's his porn name. Yeah, his shit is amazing, dude. Mm-hmm. Like I was saying last episode, he's over here really like working. When he's sober, ah. it's Cat and Cough a lot. When he's in the Sir. bedroom, it's Captain ah. Cock a lot. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> By day. He's so out over there. Burn a anniversary over there. Happy burn anniversary. <laughs> 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 Want to go somewhere fancy in my day for our TV for dinner? For anniversary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll go to Wendy's, we'll get a biggie bag. Yeah, we get a biggie bag and then we have some TV dinner tonight, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. What the fuck are we talking about, damn it? <laughs> She's distracted we thinking about, about all that TV dinner pussy. Flesh. Flesh. <laughs> I, fo- I, I like how, like, the, the music was, like, the same song, bro, through the whole fucking joke. I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a, like a, like it was just like the theme song the whole time. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. Like, yeah, and I fuck with that. I, I think I was, uh, I was close to something else. Maybe Tango and Cash. I don't remember. I was listening to that Joan. I was like, man, that sounds pretty close to. But I fuck with that. That was a good movie. Yeah, that's some Chevy Chase shit. Mm-hmm. I heard they're making a Community movie. You guys watch that show? I never really. I mean, I watched like some episodes of it, but I imagine it will have the Chevy in it. Was he in Community? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this it? 
Oh God. Yeah, this is Babe. yeah. It's almost like Beverly Hills. You uh, know what I mean? Miami Vice. Yeah, it's the same era for mm -hmm. sure. It's a Chevy Chase Private Eye kind of movie. Or something like, like that. Yeah, there it is. Oh shit. This joke. Is it the like the whole fucking movie, bro? I'm like, man, I fuck with it, bro. When he's sneaking around. Yeah, whatever shit. he's doing, shit. Yeah, they're always playing his jump. Kind of sounds like Super Mario Brothers. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but it's like to me, that's like that's good. That's good business practice to have the same song throughout the movie a lot. Yeah. Where you only got to license a couple of songs instead of like. Which you could because there's a lot of different parts that drop like that. But then, then, like that joke, that's hot. Yeah, I mean, it's just a three, that part's hot, like, three minutes, 50 seconds. So if you're doing 12 seconds here, 20 seconds there. Yeah. See, because this oh, is a totally different got section. Range. Right. It's got range. This is action sequence kind yeah. of, you know. Is there a romance part? Or is it not that kind of movie? Maybe. Uh, I nah. think he's bound to get laid. He, ba he bangs a chick, the dude's wife, but they don't, have, they don't show half of them. You don't get titties? No. It's almost oh, like, it's part. I guess it's almost like <laughs> Caddyshack. Like, doesn't he bang the one chick in Caddy Shack and then over the show half and up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. When they're fucking doing all that dumb shit, playing around naked and shit on the guitar, half naked and shit. I think he ends up boning her, but they don't, like, they don't show shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, like, lounging around. She's None got, of his like, movies. Griswold, he'd be fucking her, they don't show it. No, nah, you get some titties in the fucking original. Remember really? that? Because they make the video where, like, he goes in and makes Was a that video. Is cool? No, nah, it's in the shower. He goes in the shower with you, you see some titties. And like he puts up, sets up the video camera, and then they go to Paris, and somebody steals the video camera and it's got the tape on there. Oh, and then, yeah. they, then they're like selling the tape around Paris and Europe and shit while they're in Europe. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Beverly D'Angelo looking real good, big titties, all that action. She's TV dinner. <laughs> Beverly D'Angelo's TV dinner, yo. <laughs> I love this term. I know, right? I love this term. I, I love I'm the proud. three tiers. I'm proud right now. Yeah, you should be. I am. Um, you did good. I am. Um, Jubu, you have contributed to the show for sure. Thanks. TV dinner pussy is like an amazing <laughs> thing. Because I feel like Jennifer Aniston built TV pussy style. You know what I'm saying? She could be Star Gap too also. I've been she could all be three. Eagle. She can get she, there. She's like a, a lightweight, yeah. featherweight. Like UFC fighter. She's on she the can eat, She can get either bow. She can eat up or down. Yeah. She'll pound away from either one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and I dig that's, that. That's, yeah. I dig it. Yeah, I definitely feel like I've been all three. Growing up, air fire. Got fat from having kids Whoa. and hypothyroidism. Okay, yeah, right. Uh -huh. Crock pot. Uh -huh. Currently, TV Whoa. dinner. Right on. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Currently standing at TV dinner. <laughs> I'll never be an air fryer again, that's for sure. Hey, wait, wait, <laughs> <at TV> dinner. <laughs> TV dinner class. Oh, man. Yeah, this is like a classification guide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see now he's offended. I know. See right? now we've yeah, taken it too, too far. Too far. Took it too yeah. far. See you and I do it. Mike and I do it. Like yeah. it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. He is the most offendable motherfucker on this show. <laughs> well, that's all right, you. <sighs> Ain't nobody mad. It's fine. It is what it is. Uh huh. <laughs> I ain't mad at nobody. Mm mm. Best not be. <laughs> On the <boniversary>. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, this is the boniversary Don't episode. Make it romantic, then. <laughs> yeah, don't steal the romance. Don't make the day not special, boo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a special day. Not only is it the boniversary, it will also be the anniversary of TV Dinner Pussy. <laughs> Because <laughs> TV dinner pussy can vary greatly. What is today? From March? like lean cuisine to March like 24. hungry man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the, the mm -hmm. there's a great yeah. variance of TV dinner mm -hmm. pussy. Like that's that's what it really got boils the, the down Marie to. The Marie Callender like chicken pot pie. Right, right. <laughs> How thick is she? Yeah, that's just everything I got. Right. <laughs> The chicken pot pie. Tier one, yeah. Was, the little one. A little single. Yeah, yeah a little, little single. single yeah. yeah, that's just above air yeah, fryer. Just above. <laughs> that's the thighs just yeah. starting to touch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, shit, you know. Anyway. <laughs>
Oh, man. Very this actually might be the fucking anniversary year of me being on the show, too. Like, <laughs> within a 24-hour range. It certainly could be. Pretty sure. It's been around a while. Pretty in my sure. Memory. Almost. Almost one year. Well, happy uh, year anniversary <laughs> on the show. Friendship. Yeah. <laughs> Contributor. Way to jump right on. You started fucking a Jew and immediately got on the podcast. It's this really, yeah, that's why we're together. For the fame. Uh, uh, For the fame. No, 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 no. For the fans. You, you, get in, you get in on the therapy session of this, too. Mm, that's true. Like, this is good for you. It is, like, actually. Like, it's like, this is a healthy thing. My therapist thing. degrees. <laughs> oh, kidding. shit, right on. I'm just playing. I have not told my therapist. Can I get an endorsement? I, I need the therapist to give us a written endorsement of the podcast we can put out He's there. He's such a cool motherfucker. He probably would, honestly. Give him a card. Hook him he up. honestly would. Check this shit out. He's like, oh, I need to see every one of them guys. Uh, <laughs> Wait, first one's going to be on the house. Yeah. You know, one of my uh, free sh- treatments. Yeah. <laughs> on the house. Free treatments. I will treat these people. Please let me help. They need about 12, help. you know. They need a 12-step program, but I get them three for free. Yeah, like they'll make an actual case study out of us. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like the Mason and Friends show papers. Especially the black like, one. These guys, the are, these guys are fucking crazy. We have to interview them on a regular basis. They're oh, like God. sane. You don't want to open that But they're insane. If we could do the therapy <laughs> sessions all also on the podcast? Yeah. Oh, NPR? man. I'd put it out. Yeah, I'd put it out. <laughs> yeah. I'd just drop an NP- NPR fucking bass to it. Like, yeah. Here's our weekly therapy session. <laughs> brought to you by... Mason turns into Frasier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start taking calls. I'm listening. <laughs> well, after I've had enough psychotherapy, I'll be a psychotherapist, too. Right. I'll be like, I see what you're right. doing right now. Right. And they know what? I can do that too. <laughs> and then we'll start a whole show and bring people on and just talk to them. And I'll be like, now, what is it that you're really saying? Right. Please. What is your primary Elaborate. Emotion? I need you to put more words together. Mm-hmm. I know you've got them. Mm-hmm. I know you've got words. Oh my God. That you that would be the creepiest. If fucking a therapist talked to me oh, like that, oh, Mason, oh, oh, oh. I don't think I could see him again. Come on. No. It's okay. Why you sound like a child, like molester? <laughs> like what? <laughs> just... Because I'm, trying, some to get, candy, little I'm boy. trying to get something out of you you don't want to let go. Mm. That's why. <laughs> See? Deeply psychoanalytical. Is that your analytical voice? This is my psychoanalytical voice. Yeah, you can I, tell. This is the way I talk to people when I'm trying to psychoanalyze them. Somehow like, I don't think that's keep, true. Keep telling me stuff about yourself so I can more deeply psychoanalyze you and tell you what's the matter. Yeah. <laughs> Or combat you in psychological warfare. Yes, this is me softening you up for psychological warfare. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no. I'm totally soft, and I won't ever say anything that would upset you. I don't need a sword when I've got this brain. <laughs> the, pen, the pen is mightier. It's getting weird, Mace. <laughs> Just kidding. Strange things happen here at the Mason and Friends show. We're uh-huh. listening. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention. You never know what you might miss. Ah, oh, Lord. Yeah, you know, it's been a good time, though. This has been a great episode. You told us to go to bed early, so we would be on I, it today. It was a good idea. I can't believe you listened. I'm so proud of you all. <laughs> Thank you. The unit and Jubu getting a night of well-rested and not mm-hmm. get all lit coming in here all hungover. Like, if y'all want to be hungover, I need Mike here. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I understand. I need Mike to help me carry this sucker if y'all going to be both hungover. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> You hear me, Mike? I don't even know what time I went to bed. It was like 9 o'clock, babe. You went to bed early. I, yeah, I did. I did. I was tired. Yeah, I mean, the Jew was probably bouncing off the walls for an hour or two more. Doubtful. It's usually the opposite. Oh, look I'm that. usually the one that stays up to like 1 or 2 in the morning, and he's like passed out. Mm. Well, that's because he's used to getting up at the crack of dawn. It ain't mm-hmm. even dawn. The crack of dark. 4.30. Yeah. You're getting up at the last crack of dark, man. Yep. Ugh. Mad, mad respect. Ugh. Yeah, dude. I couldn't do that shit. I ain't that disciplined. Me neither. I mean, I guess I could get there if I had to, but, you know, it would require things that I ain't even capable of producing at this point in my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'd have to be just like the Jew and have a job because I have children I have to fucking raise. Right. I, it has to be mandatory. Yeah, there would have to be something that, like, forced me into that shit. You are amazing, motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> shit. Shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. Better you than me. Shit. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, we're going to have to maybe, I don't know, let me check my 
we're gonna have to bring this episode to an episode to a close. <laughs> I think we've gone a little overboard, perhaps. Maybe we've said some things that might make you feel uncomfortable. Maybe we've said some things that make you feel a little too comfortable. I don't know, you know, you gotta watch out about these things. You know, this is this is a little bit different. I don't know how I feel about the psychoanalyzed this voice. Psychoanalyzed <laughs> voice is a little bit different oh, no. from a Mason public radio voice because it doesn't have the uh I don't know, there's an inflection I do with Mason Public Radio that psychoanalytical Mason doesn't do. Mm-hmm. This is just we're delving in deep. Yeah, this is no bark or bite. This is just this is keep keep telling me things. This is sleep med- meditation <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna lull you into a sense of comfort, and then you'll just state things that you normally wouldn't, mm-hmm. because of the way that I softly speak, articulate things in a delicate manner, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and to think I've had nothing to drink, nothing at all. But ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much <laughs> for paying attention this far. If you've made it this far, you truly are a friend of the Mason and Friends show. Um, you know, tell your friends, don't bogart this bitch, pass the word on, you know, share the show. Uh, keep watching, check out old episodes as well as new episodes. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all them things. Hit me up if you want a copy of Brave New World 1984 or... Fahrenheit 451. I got books, things that can be read, old school style, classic, analog books. You pick them up and you read them. It's not a Kindle book. Uh, and, uh, you know, thank you so very much for listening. Uh, check out uh, episodes like I already told you to do. Uh, be nice to people that look like you. Be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Uh, and, uh, and keep grinding on the things that you are trying to get done because that is the only way that things ever get done. And uh, thank you so very much for listening. Don't forget we love you very, very much. And we wish you nothing but the best. And peace be with you. Peace.